listen. That splishy, sploshy, echoey sound you can hear is being made by a cute little moshling otter called Yawnsy, swimming back and forth in his pool, which is inside the magical cavern that he calls home. Yawnsy loves going for a nice, relaxing swim in his pool's crystal clear water at twilight, just before bedtime. It's so calming, and it gives him lots of time to think. Yawnsy's pool is more or less in the middle of his peaceful cavern, which is filled with shimmering gems and kaleidoscopic rock formations. The damp, rocky walls are dotted with patches of soft green and lilac moss and glowing fireflies nap in little jam jars strung from stalactites that hang from above like stony ice cream cones. It really is a very beautiful place. Best of all, although Yaunty's cavern is hidden behind a shimmering waterfall. Part of its ceiling is open to the skies, thanks to a big hole caused by a meteor that struck the world of Moshi millions of moons ago. So when Yawnsy does the backstroke in his pool, he can gaze up at the stars, twinkling in the skies above. All around the edges of this big hole in the ceiling, glossy vines and colourful Hanging flowers dangle into the cave. Some of them stretch all the way down to the surface of the pool. So when the water moves, it causes them to sway gently to and fro. Especially when Yawnsy is making waves, swimming back and forth, and sometimes, when a breeze wafts in from above, the wonderfully sweet scent of the hanging flowers fills the entire cavern. Listen to the sound of Yawnsy swimming right now. It's so relaxing. Can you hear his little paws plopping in and out of the cool water as he swims back and forth from one side to the other and then back again? Every now and then, Yaunty's tail slaps the water, making a lovely, sploshy sound. And because his pool is in a cavern, all the sploshy, watery sounds have an echoey feel. Rebounding off the rocky walls, 
and reverberating around and around and around. is doing a very slow, ottery paddle. A bit like the front crawl. Putting one little arm in front of the other and gently paddling away with his little feet while wagging his tail too. Nice and slowly. Yawnsy's pool is shaped a bit like a wonky circle and it's surrounded by a rocky ledge. As he swims back and forth, Yawnsy focuses on the ledge in front of him. Then every time he gets to one side of the pool, he touches the ledge with the tip of his paw and then flips around, briefly plopping underwater before gazing at the opposite ledge and heading towards that. Back and forth. Back and forth. Sometimes, Yawnsy thinks about what might be happening outside his cavern, beyond the tumbling curtain of water that hides his home from the world. Perhaps the rainbow frogs that gather on the riverbank are croaking their early evening lullabies. Or maybe silvery moonbeams are starting to shine on the glitter pillars who make the silk that Yawnsy collects and uses to knit his pillowcases, which he stuffs with soft reeds and squishy leaves. As he continues to swim, Yawnsy decides to flip over and swim on his back. This is probably his favourite kind of swimming. As he gazes up beyond the hole, high up in the curved ceiling, he realises it's getting pretty late because the sky is now inky black and it's festooned with more stars than he's ever seen, glinting like a million diamonds. Some are brighter than others. Some seem to fade away completely before reappearing. A shooting star streaks past. Its sparkly tail lights up the sky. And for a moment, Yawnsy thinks he sees the outline of another planet, surrounded by glittery, orangey rings. As he swims, Yawnsy wonders if somewhere on a distant world another little otter is swimming along, also staring at the night sky, wondering exactly the same thing as him. Yawnsy briefly closes his eyes and pictures the other otter 
swimming along on another planet, billions of miles away. When Yawnsey opens his eyes, he flips over, returning to his ottery front stroke paddling. Beyond the rocky ledge circling his pool, he can see his little bed of twigs and leaves. It's beside a mossy wall, but most nights, when Yawnsey snuggles up in it, he faces out across his cavern and gazes at the surface of his pool because it glimmers and mirrors the skies above, especially when the moon is shining brightly. Speaking of bed, Yawnsey's twilight swim will soon be over because bedtime is fast approaching. He's going to do a few more widths of his pool and think about what fun things he might get up to tomorrow or what he's done today. You can think about those things too as you listen to him swimming. Or you can imagine you're swimming alongside Yawnsey the Otter in his very magical, moonlit, moshy cavern. Good night. <laughs>